I recently celebrated a milestone birthday. Count the candles, see if you can figure it out. I turned 40. And aside from the ice cream cake, which was pretty awesome, I was pretty lukewarm about the whole thing. And I noticed something happening to me that happens to, uh, at least you hear about happening to men around my age. I started to feel the pangs of a midlife crisis. Now for some men, they buy sports cars or they want to change their spousal situation perhaps. For me, I started to have elaborate fantasies about getting an electric skateboard and, I don't know, trying to look cool and young or something. I'm not sure. Um, but it also got me thinking about growing up because I have a little kid and just got me thinking about my birthdays when I was a little kid when I was growing up. And something I always remember from my birthdays, which is a weird thing. This didn't happen to everybody, but it was something that my mom did every birthday. was actually about a week before my birthday, she would lead me into her bedroom and there would be toys or things laid out on her bed. And she would say, okay, Tony, here are some options for your birthday present. Pick one. And so I'd pick one. Uh, inevitably, I would pick video games because that's the kind of person I am. I wouldn't want the basketball or the rollerblades or anything like that. But uh, something that didn't dawn on me was she would return everything else. So she'd go back to Walmart or Costco or wherever she had purchased the stuff from, and she returned everything. And in fact, it wasn't just around birthdays. My mom bought stuff and returned stuff all the time. I would say at least 50% of our purchases in our house were returned to the store and uh, this has got to be a bit of a burden on the store not just on the staff for having to deal with extra transactions but it's also a burden on the accounting department you can imagine dealing with these sales transactions and then return transactions more than doubles your work and it actually gets even trickier than that because companies need to answer the question, when is a sale a sale? Like, have we earned the revenue for Walmart when we sell this stuff? Or do we have to wait till the return period to record our revenue? Or how do we deal with the fact that there's going to be these returns and, and that it might not represent bona fide revenue? So that's what a big piece of this module is about. It's about dealing with people like my mom who make constant and frequent sales returns. How do we account for that? So we're going to explore when a sale is a sale. We're going to look at just how to deal with inventory purchases from Walmart's perspective. You know, they buy inventory, they uh, mark it up and then they sell it to us. Well, they are special arrangements around inventory purchases a lot of the time. And we'll answer the question, does this change the financial statements? Spoiler alert, the answer is going to be yes. But more on that later. By the way, I did buy the electric skateboard and it's awesome.